getting started. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Constable Scott Mills. I'm the Toronto Police uh, Service uh, Constable, one of them that works in the uh, Toronto Police Corporate Communications Office, and I'm a social media officer. And it's uh, July 19th, and it's a great uh, morning here, 2012, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We're at 90 Croatia Street, which is a Toronto District School Board facility, and I'm looking out at about 45 to 50 youth as well as police officers uh, that are here trying to collaborate for success and safety. And I'm here to talk about the Ossington Laneway Revitalization Project, which is a community project being led by a community member named Christine Kilpatrick, who I met on Twitter. And uh, what she did was she said she wanted to get involved in her community and she wanted to work collaboratively with our partners. Um, so we've got kind of the police partners up here and I'm going to get them to introduce who they are right here, starting with uh, the constable on the end. I'm uh, Police Constable Riley. I work with the 14th Division School Watch Unit. Uh, during the summer, well, during the uh, school year, we deal with a lot of schools, all the schools within 14th Division, alternative, uh, some elementary schools as well when there's issues, but uh, we work in uh, all capacities. Uh, Obviously negative sometimes, but hopefully a lot of positive experiences too uh, uh, with the students. Uh, we run a lot of programs for students in the uh, in the division, and uh, we like to collaborate with uh, our partners, our community partners, and uh, our service partners, and lots of different projects, and uh, trying to make it a better community. And my name is Police Constable Emerson. I'm also with the 14 Division School of Washington. Scott, and, and I'm Constable Dave Michaud. I work at a 12 division. I'm a school resource officer, and I'm also in charge of the youth community police liaison committee of the 12 division. Dave, uh, just for the viewers out there that don't know what 12 division is, where is 12 division in relation to Toronto? We are in the West End. Uh, we're located at Black Creek and Shadui Drive, and uh, that's where we are. All right, and Terry, uh, for the purpose of people that don't know where 14 division is, where is that? It's at uh, Dover Court Road in Harrison Street, near Dundas and Dover Court. Okay, our community volunteer, uh, Christine Kilpatrick, she's on her way, but we decided to get going here anyway. She's going to be showing up here with a whole bunch of things to show you if you want to get involved in this. Here's what the project is. Um, uh, the, essentially, there's a laneway that uh, runs south from Dundas Street down to about King. And it's, it's uh, on Ossington Avenue, and it's in the 14 Division Toronto Police area. The laneway is completely vandalized, uh, uh, and uh, people, some people would say that it's got graffiti vandalism on it. But the people that actually do those markings would say that that's not vandalism, it's graffiti, and it's all about peace and love and harmony, which is what we're all about. So I'm not going to say it's vandalized, okay? I'm going to say that we can do better. We can actually make that laneway from what it is right now. Some people, when they walk down it, they're scared to walk down it, right? I think that we can make it into a tourist art gallery if we engage graffiti artists and all of you great people to actually make a huge, great event. Is anybody into that? I am. Woo! <laughs> all right. So essentially what we're, the plan is... Uh, sometime in August, it's all depending on our funding because we put in uh, over a $10,000 funding application to Pro Action Cops and Kids to fund this program and it's going to call, be called the CrossFit Graffiti Art Program. Second time we've run it. So it's actually going to have sustainability after we do this two-day laneway project. So essentially you guys should come do CrossFit at the Academy Alliance, which is on Ossington Avenue and actually learn how to do graffiti art, or your friends could come and learn how to do graffiti art in a safe environment with a positive purpose of community building. Okay? So that we're, we're working on getting that uh, from the registered charity, $10,000. We may have a time delay in getting the funding because they have a, an, a, a lot of applications right now, and uh, they're trying to push ours through so that we can do it for our timelines that we've planned uh, for the middle of August. Okay, so when we get this going, Christine has canvassed all of these property owners and said, can we paint your property with beautiful graffiti artwork? 
A man by the name of Steve Ferreira and his wife Lisa Martin, they have an organization called Well and Good, and their website is wellandgood.ca. They are networked with amazing graffiti artists that do community building work throughout the world. They are working in collaboration with the City of Toronto and Councillor Mike Layton's office to actually make this an absolute art gallery. So where your job and role would come in is you would volunteer your time to help Christine Kilpatrick organize from now until the date, work in collaboration with your, with your police partners and, and your community partners, led by Christine Kilpatrick, and you would actually go down there and maybe help her canvas, which is kind of fun because you meet all the neighbors and they're very nice. We just were down there and, and uh, I think sorry, the kids had a really good time. And once we get the permission done, you would help get all the supplies that we need to do what's called Buff Day. And uh, Buff Day is a one day thing where you go down there and you have paint rollers and you just go over everything that's not an absolutely awesome piece of graffiti art. Okay? The next day, all the graffiti artists come in led by Well and Good and they have a jam in the alleyway. And they paint all of their graffiti art on a theme of community building, love and peace, which is what graffiti is all about. And the benefit for the entire community is then the Ossington Street merchants and the business people can start advertising that come on down to Ossington, shop in our neighborhood, dine in our neighborhood, live in our neighborhood, come to our, our beautiful art gallery. And what they'll be saying in all their messaging is all the students that are sitting here at the Toronto District uh, School Board, uh, Summer Learning School, all the people from uh, Trinity Theatre in the peer mentorship program, all the police officers and all the community volunteers and the council, city councilor's <coughs> office all came together to work collaboratively to make this a beautiful place. And the hope is that as a result of all that experience that you gain, that you will end up being able to put that on your resume. To be successful going forward and get a job and say, you know what, I've got some amazing skills because I work collaboratively with a great group of people and look at this art gallery we created. How many people are up for this? Yeah? All right, I'll tell you how you uh, follow up for more details. I'm going to make it really simple. We need to connect in order to make this happen. Okay? I've been leading these projects for a long time. I'm going on two weeks vacation because I got a new baby at home. <laughs> and, and what we're trying to do is get everybody inspired to lead and lead big and take all the knowledge that people like Kathy Bird who's here who I've known for 10 years that we're about the only ones we're the fossils here <laughs> and we've been doing this for a long time we know how it works and we really want to pass our information on and our leadership skills on to others and that's Christine Kilpatrick's going to be leading it I know Terry and uh, Jesse are going to be help leading it and hopefully 12 Division, this is the first time they've even heard about this, it's not in their area, maybe they can do a similar project in their area, because you can do this anywhere, right? I'm just going to add a little thing here that, you know, we often talk about these projects and they seem so dry, and so boring, and it's like, I don't want to go with a paint roller and just do this all day. But you know what? The fact is, it is what you make it. Scott and I did uh, Queen Street, um, Queen Street West, before the fire and then Queen Street again after the fire. We did Croft Street. Uh, we've done uh, back laneways between uh, Gladstone and... Uh, so we've done lots of projects, graffiti projects around 14 Division together. And I have to tell you, it is probably the most fun I've ever had out working with youth. Because it is what you make it. And if you make the day fun, you will have a good time. And you earn community service hours, and you have something to put on your resume, and you develop life skills and social skills and networking skills and communication skills. And just a word of advice, don't come here, Scott and I, when we have the water hose, because we have been known to go after all of you with the hoses, even though you're out painting for us. So, uh, yeah, it can be a lot of fun, but if you go there with the wrong attitude, it will be a chore, and you don't want it to be a chore. Okay? So go out with the intention of having fun and doing something good in the community at the same time. Sir, you're down there. What's your thoughts after you walk down that laneway? Well, when we entered, it was all, uh, I would say, vandalism. So it didn't look, look really dirty and stuff. But then when we went down the road, it looked like uh, there was really 
beautiful art there. And then um, I thought it could look, the whole laneway could look like that too, the, the start of it. And then, um, yeah, I think it would look a lot better if uh, we have, if you guys help. Okay, oh, thanks a lot. Well, I'm going to end this uh, video by telling you how, how you hook up. Uh, how, I'm going to look out and I'm going to ask you, this is called connecting in social media. How many people here use a Twitter account? Okay, we've got about 40 people here and I'm looking at about 10 hands at the most, right? How many people are using a Facebook account? I'm looking at probably 40 people, 30 people have their hands up. Um, how many people have an email address? Okay, the vast majority have an email address. It looks like that's our most common way to maybe connect. Is there anybody out here using Google Plus? Scott, yes? you've got to ask how many look at their email. Oh, okay. How many people look at their email and respond to emails? Okay. Okay, what I'm seeing, because I've, I've asked and listened to you how you connect, is that I think the best for this group is that we'll start an email list of those that are interested and we'll communicate on email. If you are using Twitter or Facebook, Christine Kilpatrick spells her name. She's the key here. Starts, uh, it's C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E, Kilpatrick, K-I-L, Patrick. Her Twitter handle is Beretta, like the gun. Beretta May, M-A-E, B-E-R, B-R-E-E-T-T-A, M-A-E. She's from Chicago. She came to Toronto. She said, I didn't felt, feel like I was welcome here. I felt everybody was a snob. That's what she told me uh, when she met on Twitter, and I want to get involved. She's taken this project to a level that I've never seen a community member take one of these projects to, to now. Her Twitter name, Beretta May, just so you can remember, she had to leave her gun in Chicago when she moved here. Because down in the States, a lot of people carry guns. She couldn't bring her Beretta to Canada. We're having this conversation. And I said, you know what, we don't use guns here. So she still has Beretta May. And at first, all she thought about graffiti was that you go out and you get rid of it. Now she's got a completely different mindset. And that's called the process of change as far as I'm concerned. And there's one term I want to leave you with. If you run into a negative situation, and you can always make a negative situation a positive, right? And I didn't know that that process actually had a name. Does anybody know what that name is? You run into something negative and you're saying, I don't even want to get out of bed this morning. But you, you look at the bright side and you start communicating with people and make it a positive. It's called social alchemy. And some of the graffiti artists that I've worked with over the years, they met me on YouTube because we kept putting videos like we're putting out right now. And they reached out they said, can I have an opportunity? And I'll leave you with this thought. A graffiti artist, all they want to do is get up. You know what that means in graffiti language? They want to write their name. And they want the world to see it. That's why they hit cube bands. That's why they hit trains, right? Well, my dream is that they paint airplanes. And they do it for their success and our community safety. And I'm part of Crime Stoppers International on a volunteer basis, and we want to paint airplanes. And then we want to use a social media campaign, but that's for another video. But that's where we're going with this. And two of my artists have been on the stage in New York City talking about this with big, huge people. And all those videos are online. <clears throat> And I want, I, I would love to give the same opportunity of success to you guys. So let's all go out and... We started a contact list for you. You started a contact list? Perfect. So the Youth Community Police Liaison Committee, YPCPLC, -C -C basically the young kids that are in the room here that are working collaboratively with these cops right here have started an email list. And you guys are right there. Hands up if you're YCPLC, 12 or 14. Okay, so we're going to come and see the two beautiful ladies, one with the pink shirt and the blue shirt, and sign up with your name and email address. And we'll be, give, we'll be giving that list to Christine Kilpatrick, and she'll be in touch with you about where you go and when. Okay? It's going around? They've sent the paper around. Perfect. Thanks a lot for your leadership, 14 Division. Thank you, Zara, from Youth and Policing. Thank you, David, from 12 Division. Thank you, Sierra, on the camera, and thank all you for being here. Thank you.